I have been testing the new Huawei Band 9 for past couple days and generally I'm very uh, satisfied with the performance of it. However, let's test it fully and I'll show you what I found. We will compare it with a much more expensive Huawei Watch Fit 2, which is, has got insanely good sensors all around and it's very good also with an Apple Watch and also I have been testing it uh, along with a Garmin and also Samsung Watch. Let's start with step counter accuracy first. Generally, the higher end uh, Huawei watches such as the Fit series and also GT series are extremely accurate in this test and they're literally the best smartwatch you can get. They completely beat out Apple, uh, Casio G-Shock watches, Fitbits and Garmin's and they're extremely accurate. However, this was not the case what I basically found with this uh, Band 9 and it actually overcounts by a bit. First, I walked uh, 1000 steps and counted them manually and these are the results I got. I got uh, 1018 steps on the Fit 2, which is very good. Then on the Band 9, I actually got 1037 steps. So uh, in like straight line walking, even then it overcounts a bit, but it's nothing serious. It's like less than 4% and I wasn't even uh, like walking in uh, one motion basically. I was uh, walking and stopping uh, frequently and trying to uh, see how just how good it is and I think it's fairly good actually less than 4% error is very good. However the thing where it actually fails a bit is in mixed walking test that means when you are wearing both the watches and simply walking around your house doing some household chores maybe like brushing teeth for example or washing dishes or just doing like basic tasks walking from one room to another and the Huawei Watch Fit 2 as I already showed in my list in the mixed walking test is extremely accurate and it completely beats out the big boys basically so very ac accurate device for this uh, uh, like band 9 uh, I thought it will be the same I thought say maybe maybe a uh, purpose the same so, like the sensor and algorithm but it doesn't appear the case and it overcounts uh, quite a bit actually well it's not that huge margin and it's uh, probably still acceptable so uh, from my tests uh, on basically walking with them for a couple of days these are the accuracy it has it has got like uh, 12 to 15 percent it overcounts by like that so if you are actually trying to reach 10,000 steps a day you really should look for uh, to reach this number on your uh, watch band again this is perfectly usable and fairly good result as you can see it's probably just as good almost as an apple only apple uh, undercounts a bit or like G-Shock just as good and it's even better than a Fitbit or Garmin and those devices are much more expensive. So generally the step counter also it's not super super extremely accurate. I think it's very good still and it's better than other devices. Then the heart rate monitoring and online it absolutely got roasted by one of that biggest YouTuber who tested this uh, watch and said it's complete garbage. However, that's not what I actually found. I'm not really sure what he's talking about. I have tested it for a couple days, went for walks, and it's pretty much the same as the uh, better Huawei Watch Fit 2. And that Huawei Watch Fit 2 is actually super, super good. The only negative thing I found with this uh, Band 9 basically is that you have to wear it like very tightly on your wrist. If you wear it uh, kind of loosely, uh, for example, it doesn't really matter say, in what way you wear your Apple Watch or Garmin, uh, basically, they still provide very good uh, heart rate reading. However, this one I found, unless you actually tighten it up fairly tight, it, uh, it sometimes lags a bit. So that's something to consider maybe, and that's maybe where you can get error from. Also, I found out that the heart rate sensor isn't as responsive as on the Fit and also the Apple Watch. So it actually it's kind of a bit sluggish. So for example, if you are doing like a HIIT workouts, uh, it uh, will give you some error compared to the better heart rate sensors. Okay, so my heart rate after I'm walking and as you see, all three devices pretty much show the same. And they're generally within one or two points between each other. As you can see, when I'm walking basically, overall I'm not really seeing any huge difference between all of them and I think the Band 9 is uh, just as fine as a Fit and as the Apple Watch almost. But what I can see, the Fit device actually is more responsive to heart rate changes. So if you're doing some kind of heat workouts where you need 
constant heart rate, extreme precision, then the fit for sure will be a bit better because the bad 9 sensor is kind of sluggish indeed. Okay, and this is overview after like 5 minutes of just walking around as you can see the average heart rates are pretty much identical. The highs and lows are also pretty much the same almost in like one or two points between them. Overall I'm not seeing that huge difference between these two devices and I think the uh, Band 9 actually is pretty decent but as I said previously it's sometimes not as responsive. The only negative thing which is very minor as you can see the step count is a bit higher on the Band 9 and this is what I saw on the Band 9 that it overcounts slightly. Then let's measure our blood oxygen levels and see what they tell. And these are results. So the Apple Watch gave us 100% uh, and these both two actually gave 98%. So they're really the same. When you also check your uh, heart rate here, you can see that uh, the Band 9 measured 97 over that period and this uh, watch fit 96. So essentially the same. The Huawei Band 9 compared to the Watch Fit uh, 2 does not have a GPS, so you will need to use your phone when you are basically walking. And I actually um, used this uh, Band 9 without a phone, without a GPS, and also used this watch uh, to walk a walk and record the actual GPS uh, distance. And the distance wasn't really that far off, so even if this doesn't have the GPS, it can still be used. Obviously, it uh, overcounted the actual distance taken by a bit like 10% maybe, uh, but uh, reality, yeah, it, it doesn't really matter that much and it's accurate enough. Again, I think where the error comes from is that it overcounts the step counts a bit, so maybe that why. Anyway, still you can use it without GPS and without your phone fairly well. So overall, can I recommend this watch? I think I actually can recommend it. So even though it doesn't have the most accurate step counter, it's still pretty accurate and it's really just as good as something like Apple or a Fitbit or Garmin. If you want actually the most like the most accurate step counter, then really maybe get and use it Fit 2 because I literally paid uh, 35 euros for this use it Fit 2 and I paid uh, 50 euros for the brand new of this one so really this is even cheaper and a better watch but still for a brand new watch that costs like 50 euros this is very good result and i think the heart rate sensors on both are are acceptable and good obviously if you want uh, if you are actually like a hardcore athlete and actually want to track your heat workouts and uh, so then get the uh, fit too because that's incredibly good just really as good as an apple watch uh, but if you are just like a normal basic user and but still want a fairly decent accurate uh, heart rate this is still a good watch so really don't listen to that guy online who said this is trash because i i think for 90 90 percent people this will be plenty enough so just make sure you wear it snugly enough and i think it will be fine and if this video was helpful make sure to hit the like button subscribe see you